McGee posted a video on his Instagram the other day, like the dude putting the camera in his mouth thing, you know, and it does the real, real warped head. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, oh, we, I do need to do that. It would be really funny. Just for, like, the I most random footage. I reckon it'd be funny also to do that for you for a workout. Stick one of those on you while okay. you work out. All right. That was Let's also do it. Let's do it. <sighs> Good morning, party people. Welcome to The Breakdown with Nathan Johnny. <laughs> You're right? I was, yeah, I was like, uh, like I wanted, like you started introducing it and when you said like, oh, we'll film that like as a workout, I didn't realize what video we're doing. Otherwise, I would have said, yeah, that would have been an all-time low. Uh, so it would have been good. Or if I'd seen the title, I would have been like, dead. Oh, tell me I'm alive. So there you go. There's a too far. Um, <laughs> neither were very good. Uh, I like the label that they're on, Fueled by Ramen. Ramen is one of my favourites. Why do you guys keep coming back? All Time Love just announced their brand new album. So this is the next single. Uh, the album is called Tell Me I'm Alive. So this is the title track. Comes out March 17th. We've quite enjoyed the last few All Time Love tracks. They've gone down a lot more radio-friendly, pop sensibility line. But they do it really well. They do. So... I appreciate them quite a lot uh, for how great they are, but they're just they're still not a band that I ever go and listen to, really. Um, I have a couple of their older tracks on some playlists, but that's about it. Uh, we're going to get into this one. Uh, wow, a nice short video for once. <sighs> You'll find a way to make it low and annoying. Nah, press play. Okay. Like and subscribe, please. Check out the merchandise. Share our videos around, follow the socials, all that sort of stuff. Thank you, we love you. Just got jumped in an alley. Life's too short. Pay on fight with a bouncer at a bar Meets in the valley. Got yeah. a couple bruises and a bite mark on my lip from kissing vampires. Let's find a park. Okay. Let's kill a bottle. It's a start. If there's a spark, light up this icy heart. But baby, don't you cry for me. I'm messy. I'm reckless. I fuck shit up for breakfast. My life is a train wreck. Falsetto. vocal melody in that part there. I do, but I don't like how they put the little bit of auto-tune on it. Yeah, I can no, hear that. No, I'm not a fan of that stuff. Uh, do you know what's a weird thing? This is a visual thing, and I might be hella alone here. It's always been something that's bothered me about his look. Is it the hair that goes straight sideways? He has no sideburn. What? There's no sideburn, so there's... I don't know. I, I don't have anything here right now either, but his hair, because he's clean-shaven, it's clean-shaven all the way up to above his ear, so when it comes across, it is just hair across there, not, there's no layer to it, and for some reason that's always bothered me. Okay, has he and always like, been exactly like that? I know he's always had the like the full plastered. Yeah, he's across. always had the no sideburny part. I don't know. That's just a thing that I'm noticing so much in this video, and maybe I'm being talking picky. about sideburns. Just reminds me of that Simpsons episode. <laughs> Shave those sideburns, Mr. Burns. Like, and he's just like, what sideburns? And he just keeps coming back with more of his head sh hair shaved. <gasps> Mattingly. I thought I told you to trim those sideburns. Go home. You're off the team for good. Fine. <laughs> it's it's great. That episode. The baseball episode. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Paul 
from Gloom would be loving that. They got BC Rich Warlocks. get in a bar fight one day. Like an American style bar fight, you know? I don't know. What a dumb thing to say. Really? Oh, new. Flatlined. So he's telling me he's alive. Ha. <laughs> huh. Um... Let's get back to your bar fight comment there, because that was really dumb, and I want you to explain it. Okay, I want to explain it because it's like it's a Hollywood thing. Like Hollywood has always glamorized the bar fight. What has Hollywood? Said Hollywood. Hollywood has always glamorized this bar, oh, dear. Christ, oh, stop it! <laughs> you know, like they've always like glamorized it um, in in movies and things like that. It's always done kind of serious, but also kind of it always ends up being like a bonding moment between a group of friends sort of thing. Like, think about Yellowstone, like, the amount of bar fights they have in that and, like, mm -hmm. you know, Sons of Anarchy and things like that and then they're all, like, sitting out afterwards, bloody and bruised, going, oh, yeah, that was fun. I don't know. I'd probably be out there going, this fucking sucks, man. You wouldn't be that because you'd be either dead yep. or in hospital because that's one of the most unrealistic parts of any movie Oh, yes, yeah. the fight scenes. Yeah, because as soon as someone gets hit with a chair, they're down. They're, they're gone. Yeah. I thought I was thinking the other day, in, it was a, a clip from Harry Potter. It was like, like, it must have been magical or something. Because somebody in Harry Potter gets knocked over the back of the head with like a rock. They're trying to knock a dude out. And he's like, smash him in the back of the head with a rock. Yeah. And the guy like goes unconscious. I'm like, that's murder. Yep. That's just straight up murder in the real world. <laughs> yeah, that, you know what, like, in all seriousness, that sort of, the depiction of violence and, and how easy it is to walk away from things in movies is a big problem because people yeah. don't, don't realise. Just dickheads look, I want to get in a bar fight. <laughs> I blame Hollywood. Uh, can we talk about the song? I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, the I like that. The only thing I didn't like about it was the little bit of like vocoder sort of thing in there. But I, I thought it was used sparingly so I can handle yeah. it. It wasn't like it only had relied twice. on it. And he has a great voice. I liked the vocal melody throughout the whole thing. I like the keys. I think it had a really big anthemic -y sort of drum yeah. beat to it and stuff. I love when they slipped into the old school sort of fast punk. Time. Yeah. That was cool. Like a bit of a throwback to sort of say, we can still rock the shit. We can still do that. Uh, that was fun. And I, I really enjoyed the music video. It was quite fun. Yeah. Quite funny. It's good. That, you know what that's, that's what was missing? A lot of words. Oh, so <laughs> what, what did you guys think of Telling Them Alive, the brand new track from All Time Low? Are you excited for the upcoming album? I definitely am. I think that there's going to be a few really cool tracks on there. I'm really interested to hear how they pull it all together. Me too. Side Thanks bands. for watching. <laughs> See you next time. Sidebends. <laughs>